Hello, I'm Dr. Grant Garlic from Florida Orthopedic Institute. Uh, here to talk to you today about non-operative treatment for uh, knee arthritis. I often uh, am, am asked, you know, what exactly is knee arthritis? And it's easiest to just demonstrate on a knee model. And what arthritis is, is nothing other than uh, cartilage that's degrading in someone's joint cavity. So here is, a, here is an example of a knee. Here is the femur, the thigh bone, the shin bone, and in between is a joint. And the joint has cartilage that's painted on the bone. So it, it, it's usually a thickness of about three millimeters. And it allows the joint to move smoothly. When you start when one starts with age, typically, uh, to degrade the cartilage, the white stuff that coats the bone that allows uniform range of motion to a knee, you see the red areas, that's where the cartilage starts to get degraded. And when you don't have the cartilage as well, things will happen like pain, swelling, some clicking, and when the cartilage wear becomes severe, you'll get bigger holes in the cartilage, more bone exposed, more clicking, and the knee starts losing its range of motion. So that's, that's what arthritis is and how do we treat it? We always, always, always start with conservative treatment. Um, uh, the conservative treatment means non-operative treatment for knee arthritis. And why that's important is if we do uh, conservative treatment, many patients won't need surgery, sometimes in the short run, but often uh, not at all. And uh, what I tell almost every patient universally is, number one, we can treat uh, knee arthritis with medication. Um, Tylenol is one form of treatment. And then non steroidal anti inflammatory medications, that's just a category uh, such as Advil or Aleve, and that helps with swelling. But with medications, we don't want to take those every day. We just take those for short periods, two to three days, and then back off because they do have some deleterious side effects. Secondarily, um, uh, another treatment for knee arthritis is working on physical therapy or a structured exercise program. Why that's important is with arthritis, we stop moving the knee joint and we start to get stiff. And when we get stiff, the knee gets weak. And with weakness, there is pain. So always, when someone has knee arthritis, I work on their range of motion. So oftentimes when people have knee arthritis, their knee gets stuck and they can't completely straighten out. So when we get a therapist to work with these patients and you can get the knee straight, oftentimes that helps with knee pain significantly. And we also work on bending. So if we can get better motion in a knee, it translates to, to less pain. And then we try to strengthen the uh, soft tissue envelope around the knee. Um, braces are another way to help support a knee. And you don't need to get fancy. All you need typically is a knee sleeve, just a pull-on knee brace that will help with swelling and you know compresses the knee to help with swelling. Uh, and again, that translates to less pain. Finally, injections. Um, injections are a way to treat an arthritic knee. Um, you have three types of injections, uh, cortisone, uh, gel or lubricant injections called hyaluronic acid, and finally, platelet-rich plasma. So my hope is that people when they develop arthritis will first seek out uh, conservative treatment first. And when that fails, uh, there may be some uh, surgery that's indicated. Okay.